Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? Okay, I'll be waiting in her room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you'll have to kill me influence your decision. As I said before, I'm going to disappear anyways. I won't feel any pain by dying, so there's no need to worry about me. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you made your decision? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm in too. I have made my decision as well. Then we're all in agreement, yes? Better let him know then, okay? Hey, I didn't think I'd ever be in this room under circumstances like these. I had a good time, you know, back then. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. It's useless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this. But I have no choice. See? I'm not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please, kill me. I don't want you to suffer. I understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. <sighs> Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Oh. I should say my farewell to you, shouldn't I? This is the last time we'll be able to speak like this. Thank you. Goodbye. And... I'm sorry. I wish we could have had more time together. It was nice. I'm glad we met. I'm glad I knew you as Ryoji Mochizuki. I'm glad we could share these last few moments together like this. Thank you. Could you... hold on to this? It's proof that I was human, for however short a time. If you held on to it for me, I... I think I'll be able to stand it.
love you. We should go back. The others will be worried, I'm sure. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's an unfortunate decision, but it is yours to make. That's right. But you can't defeat Nyx. It's impossible. But we must still try. Personally, I don't care if it is impossible. I understand. It's almost midnight, so I'll keep this brief. I'll tell you where to find Nyx. You'll find her at the top of Tartarus. On the promised day, you must journey to the top of the tower. When's the promised day? Exactly one month from tomorrow. January 31st, 2010. Nyx will descend to Tartarus, and the world will end. One month. Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the darkness of the night sky. It's a beacon to guide Nyx. With the apprisers coming, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared and descends there. And thus, the demise will come. So that's why it's called the Tower of Demise. But what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right. But remember, from today you will fight against eternal despair. Like I've said so many times before, Nyx cannot be defeated. When you face her, you will finally understand this truth. And then you will realize what it is you are trying to stand against. We understand. There's no need to keep telling us. January 31st. We won't forget that date. Well, I'll be going on ahead of you then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji-kun. I guess... I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy. And my friend. I guess... Thank you. This will probably be the last time I'll see you all like this, but... I'll always be watching over you. Well... Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, my dearest. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya! <laughs> that Ryoji. We have one month until January 31st. Together, we'll reach the top. Hello? Are you up? Morning. Oh wait, I mean, Happy New Year's! Hey, you want to come to the shrine with us? Mr. Senpai prepared kimonos for us. 
<laughs> then let's go get dressed. Come on, the kimonos are in my room. Good morning. Oh, um, Happy New Year, Senpai. Happy New Year's to you, too. Yeah. Happy New Year to you, too, Koro. Oh, man, I completely overslept. Why'd I stay up all night watching that stupid movie? Did you guys see it? It had these giant Amazon women running around in the jungle. Why would I watch that? Um, is anyone gonna visit the shrine? No, I don't believe in superstitions. Me either. Oh, that's too bad. Yukari-san and the others are already there. They're all wearing kimonos. Kimonos, huh? Uh, I'm gonna run to the store. Hold it right there, Junpei. Uh, what? You're going to the shrine, aren't you? N no, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm just going for a walk. Uh, oh, yeah? Well, I'm going with you then. I'm bored. Oh, I'll go too. All right, then. Let's go. Anyone know where it is? Yeah, the girls told me the directions. Sweet! Have you decided what to wish for? <laughs> Me too. Then let's pray for that from the bottom of our hearts. There's nothing to worry about. I have the utmost certainty that we can do this. Yeah. Oh, it's Junpei-kun and the others. do our very best this year. But man, you guys are late. Yucatan. What? Happy New Year. Hmm? What's the matter, Yori? Mitsuru Senpai. You look hot. I um <laughs> I mean, stop staring at me. Happy New Year's everyone. I've never worn a kimono before. Um, does my sash look okay? Fuga. You look Wow. Jeez. This traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. Uh, Aichan, considering what you usually wear, that looks even more amazing on you. Uh, is that so? What is this odd sensation I feel? <laughs> but man, <laughs> I gotta say, um, you look pretty cute yourself. Uh... Oh, uh, it, it's nothing. You sure look beautiful. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. Ah, I'm so glad I came. <laughs> New Year's kicks ass! Yeah! Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? Man, we got to see some great stuff today. Right, Akihiko-senpai? Uh, I, uh, I guess so. Hey, aren't you guys cold? Mm, a little, but I love this time of year. Um, that's not what I meant. Junpei-san said that you guys aren't wearing anything underneath your kimonos. He said what? Huh? Wow, you've really taken Ken-kun under your wing, huh? Uh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ouch!
So, did you guys finish making your wishes? Of course we did. Oh, but I ain't telling what I wished for. I heard your wish won't come true if you tell anyone. Isn't that what they say about prophetic dreams? Uh, it's not like it takes a rocket scientist to figure out what Junpei wished for. Hey, wait, 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 what's up with that? What, you think it's gonna be something like, I wish to meet a hot babe, huh? Well, shows what you know. What I really wished for is... The same thing we all did, right? I wish to prevent the demise. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's nip it in the bud. Mm-hmm. Besides, don't you go for younger girls anyway? What? Whoa, did I guess right? Creepy. Up, dude.
Welcome back.
Hey, uh, you busy? Could you uh, come with me for a sec? Sweet, thanks. <sighs> it's a nice day out. Why don't we go up to the roof? It's almost coming of age day, you know? I used to just think of it as a day off. But now, I wonder if I'm even gonna live long enough to celebrate it. Yeah. It's been pretty weird around here lately. People have been passing out. Others have gone missing. Dude, it's crazy. Senpai said it's because there are too many shadow victims and the memory revision can't keep up. It's all gotta be because of this Nyx. <sighs> oh, and have you heard about that doomsday cult? They've been running around town telling everyone they see that the end of the world is coming. Man, we need to do something. And quick. Yeah. But it's not just Nyx, you know. Two members of Strega are still alive. They haven't done anything yet. But I know they've got to be planning something. And we need to take care of them, too. Man, to think I'd end up trusting such a cutie with my life. <laughs> I never would have imagined that happening last spring. <laughs> but then again, I never thought it would come to this. You know, I don't think it's completely hit me yet. It's just all so hard to believe. But that doesn't mean we should just sit around and wait for it to happen. You're pretty cool, man. That thing was inside you for ten years. And you harnessed its power and made it your own. I know I've run my mouth a lot since the day we met. And yeah, maybe I called you cutie a couple of times, and you might have thought I was making fun of you. But I'm totally serious when I tell you. I trust you with my life. I'm... I'm glad to know you. It's embarrassing to say it, but... But that's really how I feel. We'll always be friends, right? I mean, even after this is all over? What do you mean? Well, I get you. Like... What kind of friends will we be once all this is said and done? I guess we'd be... dorm friends? That doesn't sound so hot. Best friends, then. Yeah, that sounds about right. Huh? Hmm... Uh, what? C come on, that's not funny! Oh, uh, okay then. Um... Don't get me wrong, I'm really glad to hear you say so, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for something like that yet. I mean, nothing personal, I, I think you're a great girl and super cute. <clears throat> but, sorry, I can't really think about stuff like that just yet. I want to give you a straight answer someday, like I'd hate to leave something like this hanging. <laughs> but straight up, I mean... You could do better than to settle for a guy like me, right? Then again, I guess that's your call, huh?
Where have you been?
accepted.
Oh, there you are. We're all going to uh, Hagakure. Wanna come? Wow, that was easy. Akihiko-san's buying. Him and me had a little bet in Yakushima. I can't really go into details, but in the end, I guess you're the one who actually won. <laughs> you didn't even know you were part of it. Well, I don't look a gift horse in the mouth, you know? Anyways, I've just been waiting for you to get back. Everyone else already left, so we got a jet. Is the special okay for everyone? Okay. Five specials, please. Man, this is awesome. Akihiko-san's never treated us all to ramen before. Hey, why do I have to treat everyone? My bet was only with Junpei. <laughs> Not this again. Come on, Akihiko-san. A bet's a bet. Pay up. All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. What's wrong, I guess? You doubting me too? No, but have you seen the magazine on that counter? There's an article in it that looks highly disturbing. Which magazine? It's this one. Emergence of a Messiah. The charismatic one speaks. Huh, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet too. Huh? Hey, look at the photo in this. Check out the so-called messiah. What the? I is that Takaya? I thought something was up. So, Streg is behind that cult. <sighs> I've lost my appetite. Listen to what he says. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. But soon, a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. This great being is Nyx. I have beheld her glory, and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. In Nyx, there is no pain, no suffering. How the hell does he know about Nyx? Wait, he's saying that Nyx will save the world? That's not true. I don't think he really means what he's saying. This is all just a game to him. That son of a bitch. But there are those who do not understand this truth, even though they have also been blessed by her. They have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it, using it for their own personal gain. These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. Wait, is he talking about us? Shh, not so loud. Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up with them calling him the charismatic one? How'd he get so popular all of a sudden? Well, Jin's pretty well known on the internet. He's probably pretty good at stirring up trouble. Yeah, I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame. Oh, those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is here. Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? Throughout history, those who have changed the future have often been highly charismatic. That's the end of the article. It appears that after the interview, Jin and Takaya disappeared again. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. Tartarus. They must have been planning this all along. Takaya's words have changed the mood of the entire city. Even though they won't admit it, they are all afraid. Yeah. I mean, why else would people believe this nonsense Takaya's preaching? Uh, I guess people just need something to believe in. Well, no wonder there's a sense of doom in the air. We're all gonna die. But is that so surprising? The fact that all life ends one day has nothing to do with Nyx. Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this? I guess. To tell you the truth, I never even would have thought about my own death if none of this had happened. But since we've made up our minds, why don't we just leave it at that? Our objective is Nyx. If Strega gets in our way, we'll just have to deal with them too. I agree. 
We'll probably run into them at Tartarus anyways. However you look at it, we're the obstacle standing in their way. The promised day will soon be here. <laughs> as fearless as ever. All right, and if that's the case, we're gonna need lots of energy. Let's eat. Excuse me, I'd like to order a Hagakure bowl. Junpei, don't forget you're having half of Igus's food too. Oh, don't worry, I'm starving. You just better eat it all. How was your day?
Greetings.
You know, future consultation is coming up. Yeah, what are we supposed to say during all that? <coughs> oh, Koro-chan. Aw, if you sleep wherever you want, you'll catch a cold. Huh? Hmm? What is it, I guess? There's a miniature camera near the ceiling. It's been camouflaged. What? Does that mean it's been recording whoever walks past here? Oh, yeah. I forgot that you can check out anywhere in the dorm from the command room. Does that mean one has been placed in each of our rooms as well? Uh, I never thought about it. But probably so. I used the system last year. Huh? Is that true? Well, you need a key to use it, and I doubt any of the guys would dare look inside our rooms. Oh. They did? I'm gonna kick the living crap out of them before Nyx can get his hands on them. Yukari-san, your vital signs are fluctuating. Are you in danger of... dying of shame? Anyway, we don't need that stupid system anymore. Let's ask Misuru senpai to have it removed. You're right. The camera's recording right now. Hello? Welcome back.
Greetings.
accepted. I'm sorry to ask so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. Uh, you want all of us, or just her? Just her for now. Come with me to the student council room. Isn't it kind of weird that she'd only want to talk to her? Probably some big important student council business. Nah. Maybe so, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, you worry too much. Well, if the high muckety mucks don't need us, might as well go home. Hey, wait a second, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if she's not here, you have to clean up for her. Have fun sweeping the hallway! What? Where did that rule come from? There's something you have to know. Do you remember the girl named Chidori, who was with Strega? I don't mean to alarm you, but the fact is, there's a chance that she may wake up today. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die in front of our eyes. However, her body began to undergo transmogrification a few days after the incident. For the past few weeks, she's been in a state that is neither living nor dead. I don't know. It may be related to her persona abilities, but that's mere speculation. But what I wanted to talk to you about is your opinion on how to break the news to Yori. You see, she's probably... Mitsuru here. I see. Yes, I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. It's unbelievable, but although we had confirmed her death, it seems Chidori has come back to life. Did I hear that right? Iori? Chidori is... Huh? Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No, it's not a joke or a trick. She is currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But, Iori... She probably... Chidori... Chidori's... Alive? Junpei, what about your cleanup duty? Jeez, what's gotten into him? Well, I guess it's a moot point now, but perhaps it's best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this too. Could I ask you to come along? Her damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Is it... really you, Chidori? I'm not dreaming. Am I? Dreaming? <laughs> it's true. It is you. Chidori! Huh? Who are you? Huh? What? I thought as much. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I suspected that this might be the case. This is Mitsuru-san and Junpei-kun. They were your friends last year. Friends? My name is Chidori Yoshino. I'm sorry, it hasn't quite hit me yet. But it seems I don't remember any of the past few years. It's as if... I was dreaming for a very long time. Chidori... Yoshino... It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. 
She remembers everything that happened before then. But as for you all... Iori. Nah, I think... It's better for her that she doesn't remember. All that stuff about fighting and pills, and you're having a nightmare. It ain't a bad thing to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted him to be happy, and I... I think... there were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori, take it easy. You don't have to force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she remembers that part clearly, then maybe... Do you remember when she'd use her power from time to time to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Junpei-kun would come. Any flower she touched would be mysteriously preserved. That's why I kept them all for research purposes. But after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. And thinking back on it, it may have been that night that she began to transmogrify. The power to share one's life with others. Could it be that she reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, I can't prove any of it. But compared to how she was before, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but more than that. Excuse me, are you talking about me? We were talking about how you want to live now. Huh? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I can't lie in this bed forever. Supposing you do find him and meet him, what then? That's... <sighs> that's none of your business. Chidori! Two hearts reunited. It's a miracle. No, it's a victory. <laughs> Chidori! H hey Why are you crying? I, I, I can't help it. Th this... This is seriously the happiest moment of my life! <laughs> <laughs> Small surprise, huh? <laughs> 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 Greetings.
Where have you been?
Let's begin, shall we? I don't have much to say, though. In the end, it's your decision. All right, first question. Are you planning on going to college after you graduate or entering the workforce? I see. Well, if you've given serious thought to your decision, then I believe that is what you should do. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this decision is yours and yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. And then you'll have to live with the consequences, whatever they may be. But to be honest, I'm quite confident in you. You've really matured over this last year. I'm sure you're aware of it as well. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young woman you've become. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful senior year. Let's see. Uh, who's next? Ah, I guess son. Would you mind letting her know? Thank you. Hmm? I'm sorry I went off on my own. It's nothing, really. I just needed some time to think. When I finally calmed down after New Year's, I realized something. When I fought Ryoji, I got really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. I was also confused and embarrassed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. But I couldn't defeat him ten years ago either, and I didn't have those feelings then. I... I really have changed. I've been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. You know, in the past if I didn't understand something I would just ask someone to explain it to me. But since I've decided to live, no one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. However, there is one thing I've come to understand. The reason why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death, but... Even though death is gone now, I... I still want to be by your side. I still don't know what it means to live yet, but I want to learn the answer, and I think I can if I'm with you. So please, please take me with you. I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with you to the end. Please. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, how is your day?
<laughs> Let's get going. I'll show you what I'm made of. Okay, I'll do my best. 